Hey guys, it's Natalie the Geek, and I have some news for you guys. As most of you have already heard this terrible news, I'm gonna let you know what I basically found out so far. I first heard this bad news from, on June 14th from Michael Azurio from Entertainment Weekly, and he tweeted, it's true, Kevin Lamar cut AJ Cook, and he posted that with a link. And I stared at that comment for about five minutes wondering, was this a title? So I clicked the link and I read it and it basically said, uh, AJ Cook will not be picked up for Criminal Minds and Patrick Brewster is in talks to remain as a series regular. This news literally broke my heart. I sat on my bed for a few hours, staring at my ceiling thinking, this is a bad dream. Within minutes of finding this out, Twitter exploded with information about CBS's horrible mistake. Within hours, a petition was created to get ladies back on the show, and so far there are 36,584 signatures and growing. I never thought I'd have to make a video about this. It's just horrible. The fans respond to has been amazing. They've made online posters, YouTube videos, Yes, the The reason AJ is being cut and Patrick is going to be in less episodes is because of creative reasons. Now, we all know that it's crap, and it is financial reasons. CBS, if you are looking to save money, don't make a spin-off series. Criminal Minds has been in the top five spot for rating for the show weekly since it has started to air. Don't try to fix what isn't broken. On top of all of this, CBS, CBS has also stated that they are looking for a new actress to replace AJ. That is just ridiculous. On a quick little side note here, when Rishka Hargitay went on maternity leave on Law & Order Special Victims Unit, they brought in a new detective for six episodes. I didn't watch a single one of those six episodes. Why? Because the amazing dynamic duo Olivia and, El and Olivia and Elliot were not working together. When you break up a powerful machine like that, there's bound to have problems. If you, to, if CBS is to break up criminal minds, there are bound to be a lot of problems. Taking AJ Cook away from the show and cutting Paget out of episodes is a big mistake. JJ's character is. J AJ's character, JJ, is the functioning family on the show. Her character is a role model to many people, showing that you can work in a male-dominant occupation and have a functioning family. CBS, if you decide to cut AJ Cook out, you might as well not even make an episode about it. We already know how you would awfully end it, claiming AJ can't, sorry, claiming JJ can't handle the work and needs to be with her family. I'm disgusted, and on top of that, why would you want to bring in a new actress? I don't understand how you can also cut out Paget Brewster throughout the season, she, like in an already male-dominated show. The fact that her character, Emily Prentice, is a profiler is amazing. In real life, there are about 10 profilers in the world, and they're working out of Virginia, and they're basically mainly 99.9% they're all males working in that field. It's very rare that we see women in law, enforce, law enforcement holding such a powerful position. CBS are basically implying that women are not worthy enough for screen time and that they're expendable. Within the past week, our fight to keep Criminal Minds ladies as regular has been amazing and we need to keep on fighting. So far, those have, who have signed the petition our Criminal Minds co-star Kristen Vanguez, who is returning full-time next season, which is wonderful, as well as Kevin Pollack and Paul Tompkins. Another step you can take to help out the BAU women is you can make a polite but firm phone call to Nina Tassler, president of CBS Entertainment, expressing your opinion about the situation. 
Remember, rudeness doesn't get us anywhere or our voices heard. So if you were to make a phone call, please be polite. All links and stuff like that and contact information you can get at the side. Also, criminalmindsfanaticblogspot.com has many useful articles about this horrible situation. Make sure to check out the site and leave constructive comments. Last but not least, after hearing this horrible news, I finally need your guys' help to get the word out to CBS and just to show that the fans care. I want you guys to start getting creative and make a picture, just like I have done here, showing your support for the Criminal Minds ladies. I need you basically to tap into your creative side, make a cute little picture like this, and take a picture of you holding up your sign that you've created and email me those pictures. I'll have my email posted in the side and I'm just gonna make a video of all of your guys' pictures just to show that your support for the Criminal Minds ladies and the show in general and show that we want them working together as a team and not break them up. So again, all links will be posted at the side and don't forget to remember and sign the petition. Thanks guys. Bye.